Happy 2024, Happy New Year! It is Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024, and welcome to my channel. I'm Alma Joy, a creative and working professional here in San Diego, California, and I'm sharing my life here on my YouTube channel. So if you'd like, please subscribe and like this video, and I would love to know in the comments uh, where you're listening from and how you are doing. So today is the first day of work of the year, so it's my lunch break, and so far today has gone great. My meetings went very smoothly, and I'm moving along in work, so all is good. And yesterday was January 1st, and I don't have too much footage of that, but you know, yesterday Chris and I just spent the day uh, relaxing, watching Bridgerton or Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story, and making lunch uh, with HelloFresh, and then walking Chibi, our dog, and so. So yeah, it was a very nice day just to relax and recuperate after all of the gatherings, uh, the family time, the friend time that we've been having. So yeah, I've been doing well and I've been working on my planner. So I want to share my planner. It is a 2024 passion planner with a Monday start. So the first day of the week is Monday because that's how I think about it. And uh, I was able to work on my passion roadmap. I want to share that with you guys just so I have it saved on this channel. So for this uh, upcoming three months, so by uh, March, or actually it should be April. <laughs> so January, February, March, April. So it should be April. Um, April 1st, so April Fool's Day, I want to be healthy and fit, which is perfect because April is actually my birthday month. And so I want to be healthier and fit. And I know that this is a very standard um, New Year's resolution, New Year's goal, but it's for good reason because everybody wants to do better about taking care of themselves. And this is really the motivation behind this. It's not really for aesthetics, but really for that wellness and that healthiness to be embodied in me this year. So be healthy and fit. I'll go ahead and change that date later. Let's see, actually let's do this now. So I love, so I'm using the Passion Planner Erasable Pen in soft black. I love this pen because it's erasable and uh, it is just like a really nice kind of gel pen. Because two months from now is March. Three months from now would be April. So here we are again. Alright, so to be healthy and fit is my goal, my game changer, and then so I want to sleep 8 to 9 hours, eat well, I want a meal plan so that I'm not eating out as much. I love to go out to eat. One of my goals last year was to try 23 new restaurants and I think I finished that less than half the year in. And so yeah, I like to go out to eat. I pretty much eat out every day, <laughs> which is crazy. Hydration, um, so I want to drink enough water every day. Um, to exercise, I want to do Pilates. I love Pilates. I do that at home uh, through blog uh, Walking and then working out three to four times a week and doing yoga. So those are my exercise outlets. And then mental health, you know, of course, going to therapy, getting support, taking the right supplements, uh, journaling, meditation. And community so having that social support is so important to our mental health and you are a part of that so thank you for being here friend and then um, for my appearance you know I want to keep up my hair care um, you know bangs are a commitment and so I like to get my hair cut pretty often uh, taking care of my nails so I have very long um, strong nails and then skincare so I love um, curology so I use it every night because I had very bad hormonal acne 
me a year ago. Um, you can't even tell how bad it was. Um, so it's really been working so well and I'm so grateful to have this transformation in my skin. And I just feel so much more, um, not just confident, but actually comfortable because the acne was so painful before. So yeah, healthy and fit is my goal for the next three months. And I think I can do it. Um, other goals that I have that are in the next three months is a minimalist challenge and decluttering because I'll be moving to a new place here in San Diego. Actually be moving once um, to a place and then after that I'll be moving in with Chris once we're married. And so I want to minimize and um, declutter my things because I have a lot of things here in my apartment. I want to grow my YouTube and podcast. So thank you for being here, being a part of that goal. And then um, I want to volunteer. I love volunteering, so I'll probably reach out to people to um, offer to volunteer. And then spend time with friends and family, share my faith. So I'm a member of the Church of Christ, and I'm always happy to share my faith with anyone. And then commit to a low buy challenge. So I will just not be buying anything unnecessary for the next month. So the next 29 days left over of this month. Um, so those are my goals in the short term, long term goals I have a year from now, um, you know, within this year is to get married to Chris, of course, travel to Copenhagen, travel to the Philippines, um, uh, pay off any cars, any debts, um, earn over what I earned last year, and then in three years, uh, I want to move to my dream home. Uh, I want to learn Spanish and Tagalog so that I can speak to my family more. Uh, I want to have my business up and running and then I want to have a family. So those are my three year goals and then for my lifetime I want to leave a legacy. So I just want to leave a legacy of kindness, of love, of faith and of joy in my family and in my community around me. So that is my biggest goal in life is to inspire people and to uplift people and support them. And so I'm sending support your way, friends. Thank you so much for being a part of my story of this journey. So yeah, that's uh, my journal or my passion planner. So my planner for the year. I um, actually filled in my month and then my week. And so I have that. And then I added a version of my mood board or vision board in the back here. And it just coincides with like my goals that I just mentioned. So yeah, I just want to share that. Passion Planner is actually my sister's company. I'm so proud of her and so happy um, of her success. They just celebrated their 10 year anniversary. So I'm so, so happy and grateful to witness that milestone and the growth that they have gone through. And look at my tab, I got the gold tabs. For anyone who's wondering, they're beautiful. So yeah, that is my check-in with you, friends. Um, just want to say hello and start off this vlog strong with a long intro. And um, I hope that we have a great week ahead, the first week of the year to set the tone for the year. And if you are inspired, please continue to ride that wave of inspiration. But if you are feeling overwhelmed or not the best right now, please be gentle with yourself. There's no real pressure to make and transform your life this week this moment you have so much time and space ahead of you so go ahead and be gentle with yourself and even if you have goals be gentle with yourself um, you'll get there time will pass uh, no matter what we do and so yeah just take our time be gentle be um, graceful with ourselves and so we'll eventually reach our goals and aspirations in this life so sending support and i'll check in with you soon friends bye hi friends so i'm on my first block of the year in my neighborhood i'm gonna miss living here so much but i want to document it as much as possible how i'm living now because life will be changing pretty soon i've just been thinking about that on my walk and you know working towards my goals so checking in again and hope we have a great rest of the day
Hi friend, it is Wednesday, January 3rd, 2024 and I'm on my walk during my lunch right now. I'm so glad it stopped raining. It's cool and crisp right now and so I'm happy to be out here getting some movement and some sun in. I hope you're having a great week so far and I'll check in with you soon. Hi friends, so it is Thursday, January 4th, 2024 and I'm about to go to church tonight. Today was a good day at work. My meetings went smoothly and I got a lot of things done and I'm so grateful that also I got to take a walk as well as see my sister. She dropped by today and we worked on our planners so that was really nice and now I'm excited to go to church for the first time this year and sing in the choir. I hope that it is a very blessed evening. I have choir practice after so it's a long night for me on Thursdays but I'm very grateful to be able to sing and use my voice to uplift people and praise God of course. And so I hope you're doing well friends and I'll check in with you again soon. Hi friend, happy Friday, January 5th, 2024. I am eating my lunch right now. I had clam chowder, crackers, and an apple, and it reminded me of soup plantation and Panera, and that's the vibe that I've been trying to have with this cold winter. And even though it doesn't get super, super cold where it snows here, it still gets pretty cold for our standards, and so soup is chef's kiss. And so yeah, I just want to check in because I'm so happy that it's the end of the work week, the first work week of the year, and I feel like it was a successful one. And so I'm grateful for that and to be able to get to the weekend where tomorrow is my grandmother's 96th birthday. She actually passed away in 2020, but we still think of her often, of course, and remember her very fondly. And so me and my sister are going to go to her favorite restaurant and have of her favorite foods and just reminisce about how she took care of us growing up and was so supportive to us throughout our lives and so just so grateful for that and then um, I'll be spending time with Chris and Chibi and so hopefully we'll have an adventure maybe go to a coffee shop and get ice cream for Chibi because that would be so fun for her she would be so excited and then of course go to church on Sunday and have that spiritual time with our mighty God. So yeah, I just want to check in and let you know that I'm doing well, I'm feeling good. Um, I went into the office today and was very productive and 
all in all, I feel like this week was a good week. I hope that we continue to ride this wave this first new year. I know things will get busier and busier. And for me, change is on the horizon because I'll actually be moving in this month. Uh, I'll be moving by the end of the month, by January 31st. But I just put in my 30 days the other day <laughs> to let my landlord know that I'm moving out and I will miss this place. So I'm going to do some apartment tours probably this upcoming week or two before I start packing because my place isn't like perfectly aesthetic but I do love it so much and I'm so grateful to live where I live. I love this neighborhood that I'm in and it's just so walkable and um, so fun to be in and so yeah I'll definitely miss living here but I'm so excited to move into um, Chris's place after we get married but in the meantime I'll be living with my sister um, or in my sister's house and so that will be a nice change as well it's um, going to be very quiet and hopefully very peaceful <laughs> as well um, so yeah I just wanted to check in friends and let you know that I'm doing well and I hope that you are doing well and and are taking care um, let's continue to have a good week and a good month and a good year Hi friend, it is Sunday, January 7th, 2024. I just want to close out this vlog and say thank you for joining me through this first week of 2024. It was a great week of productivity, of rest, and with quality time. So I'm very happy and very thankful. I'll catch you next time and be sure to like and subscribe. Bye friends!